and he <laughs> did you not they, get to meet him? They said he was. Uh, we uh, we weren't there for that day, but he oh. said he. They go, and also I'm not a big WWE fan. He he's or a wrestling fan. He said they said that he was so nice. He was supposed to oh. be there an hour. He stayed three hours because uh. the crowd was so big, and he did not want to let one person not get an autograph. Oh, that's lovely. which makes you feel good about you know. I mean, the, I mean, the guy's in the like the d- decline of his. You know, it's not. He's not. You know, he's not really on anymore. He's older, but yeah. you know, he's a nice guy, and he does these. You know, these dumb every weekend does probably does a convention. Probably gets paid pretty well. Mm. Oh make, yeah, they yeah, probably make will. paid like seven to ten thousand dollars, if not twenty five thousand. I don't know how much these they make, but I'm betting it's enough to well, for a flight. Mm. Well, do they get paid by the organizers on top of the fact that you often have to pay? Do you do this there? You have to pay per yes. person you want. I to talked to a, a friend of mine who did the, did this with the, some of the bigger ones. The bigger ones pay a certain okay. amount, but they edge it with, we'll pay you less and you can have a percentage of your thing. Because some people, yeah. you know, like the, the green Power Ranger may not get oh, I love him oh but yeah he's always there he may not get as many people though as uh Alan Tudyk who mm. was at uh the I'm talking about C2E2 which is a big comic book convention here in Chicago it's like one of the yeah. biggest ones in the country and it just focuses on comic books it has some media stuff but you know how most of them have kind of turned into multimedia things yeah well, comic con isn't about comics yeah this and that's basically what this is going back to and so I think that like the Alan Tudyk they say look we're going to give you $20,000 to come, plus you're going to book. And I'll, it's being booked on the website. Right now, you have booked. You need to book up to a certain amount. Otherwise, I'm sure there are tiers. They probably yeah. make money based on tiers. So Okay, that makes sense. Because why would you um, do it otherwise? Well, Liverpool Comic Con is happening uh, this year. And today I saw they were advertising Elijah Wood. Oh, nice. Oh. And uh, to meet him and get a photo, it was uh, 90 pounds. Ooh. So that's $118. That Not makes sense. Chance in hell. <laughs> no, thank you, uh, Elijah Wood. My, uh, my only run in with a uh, Hobbit, I was at C2E2, and I ran into um, uh, Samwise was oh, in the hey. bathroom. Uh, what's oh, name? just like <laughs> yeah. having a, <laughs> taking a leak. Yeah, he was just in there. I, was, I must have been near where the, the, the famous people walk in, and there's just a convenient bathroom. Sean Austin. Mm. Yes, yes. There's, a, yeah, no. there's a meme I've, I've seen popping up every now and again that I really like, where uh, someone's put like something about Sean Astin, and they're just like, "Oh yeah, the the, the you know what do you call him, Bob from Stranger Things," and someone <laughs> underneath wrote like. Samwise Gams did not carry Frodo up that goddamn mountain <laughs> to be called Bob from Stranger Things mere years later. Get it right, damn it. He may not have been able to carry that ring, but he can definitely carry you. <laughs> oh, I tear up at that bit every oh, time. Every time. <laughs> Although that's the thing oh. I'm talking about the Hobbit, though, and this is way too much of a tangent, but like, again, from. <laughs> this is. At... This is. This is way too much of a tangent. <laughs> Got it. But like, the. Um... Every scene, because you know we're going through the whole thing now, like, oh, Justice for Rose. We're like, oh, where, where was Rose Seagull's part in Rise of Skywalker? Mm. Every friggin' shot that like uh, we call uh, Dominic Monaghan's in. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. why isn't that Rose Tico? Why have you brought exactly. this guy in? Like, what? What? I know he wanted to be in a Star Wars. Everybody wants to be in a Star Wars, <laughs> JJ. So don't concede to him. Just go like, well, I'm sorry, but we need to give Rose Tico you something let, to do. You let Lin Manuel be in it, but he's literally just someone who the camera passes by. During the yeah, yeah. Uh, during the scene at the end in the jungle when they're like all celebrating, yeah, it's yeah. like yeah, See, just make 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 him one of those people. Give every I I was I'm one of those people. I'm with you now. I was like every part that she he got should have just been Rose. Mm. Just could, yeah. a, keep adding people's stuff to Rose. At some point, I'm like, just give Hux's lines to Rose. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, it's just, it's right though. Like um, I this is why I think my theory. I've said this to Niall. I, I have no evidence for this. My theory is that maybe that was her decision. Like, because those nerds went in hard on it and it was horrible. And um, maybe she said like, well, okay, I know I've kind of got to be in it, but can we just like, get, you know, not really give me much. I, I don't want to trigger people again. No <laughs> actress has ever asked that though. No actress has ever asked to be in less. I think that unless she feels this, this is that a... she did shoot a lot more stuff, but it was with... It was supposed to be against Carrie Fisher. I think that's I then, think that's nonsense. Come on, I don't on. know because it just seems like it, it. It's almost like it's letting the trolls win, though. It's just like by going, you should be saying the whole word. movie was letting the trolls win. Yeah, but they, <laughs> even more so now. Though, so you're going like, well, you know, you let them get to you, so now we're going to put you in the movie less. 
But now it does seem as if like, oh yeah, we just didn't like JJ Abrams himself did not like roast Tico. <laughs> He's like, no. Well, I'm I mean, not. I feel like I feel like so kind of like uh, I feel like all the actors are done with this. Like I've seen interviews with yeah. Um, uh, from from MI3, uh, Carrie Russell, and mm. um, he, she's oh, with she's that. with uh, Poe, she's with uh, Oscar Isaac's, and they've said, "Will you do another one?" If they ask, he's like, "Hell no!" <laughs> and she and she starts laughing like they've talked about this. Yeah, behind it's stage. known. Oh, there was the, the yeah John Boyega too going like, "Yeah, I'm out. You ain't you're not you can't Disney Plus me. I'm not coming back for any pin show." Or anything like that. No, I think that they're all like, "This is there's at this point there's too much." expectation and uh i yeah. think i think all the stuff kylo all this stuff i mean he, i love him he's a great actor but i he's think amazing. this i think this series is poison to him yeah to these actors yeah. and they're like no nope, i'm good uh, that will yeah. leave yeah. gracefully thank you for your time i enjoyed doing your star wars i will not be in anymore I, I, do, I am slightly worried though because i really really love daisy ridley i think she yeah. was great in that part but I've I've seen her. She was on uh, the week it came out. She was on Graham Norton, and she was like, "They're saying so. You're you're freaking the star, of Star Wars. Like you should be like, why well, you got lined up next?" And she's like, "I've got nope. nothing lined up. I've been auditioning. I've not got any work at the minute. I'm currently she's the Mark place. Hamill. It's yeah. gonna take years. The thing is, like, it will. Yeah, 10 It'll years take time, a while. Freaking Daisy Ridley will be like the, the definitive voice of like Poison Ivy or something. But it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're gonna have to go through some rough stuff to get there. You if you want to climb that Mark Hamill hill, where it's like, yeah, because she wasn't she wasn't up where uh, John Boyega and uh, Oscar Isaac's were even. Like yeah. those guys no. had were established actors before mm, they got yeah. this. They may have they may have been happening at the same time. It was you know because pre production <laughs> and stuff. They might not have been as famous, but she wasn't mm. doing anything. <laughs> He's even like no, that. she's from a UK soap opera. Yeah, mm. just like just like Mark Hamill. I mean, he didn't do anything after this for a while because it just he's he's Luke. She's Ray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's too much baggage. <laughs> and Adam Driver to me, I've said this to Nile before actually. Adam Driver, although he was big before, to me he's the Harrison Ford, as in he's going to go on to great success. Oh yeah, yeah. well that's yeah. that's the same so though. Oscar he, Isaac he, as well. Is, he has been doing good work constantly throughout the making because even like when Rise yeah. of Skywalker came out it's like that wasn't the best Adam Driver movie out that month like no. he was in <laughs> Marriage Story like the week before like it was like yeah it's like oh I'm, I'm I'm fine don't you worry about me like when I when I think of Adam Driver like when I think of Mark Hamill movies I always you have to say Star Wars is one of his best movies mm. that's just what you have to say about Mark Hamill the actor yeah. yeah. Whereas when I say Adam Driver, Star Wars is never one of the ones I say is one of his best movies. <laughs> he has. Oh, I do. I do like him in the Last Jedi. Uh, I do, but he, but when you think about the other movies that he's done, uh, you know the uh, Black Klansman, um, hmm. uh, uh, Logan Lucky. I'm just trying to think of movies. I don't know all of his movies. Uh, Marriage Story. People seem to like that. That's been memed hmm. a lot. Got the Patterson, the Jim Jarmusch movie there a couple years oh, back. Yeah, he was yeah. Great in that. so I mean, but he's great in all these different movies, and I don't, I don't think of him as I, I'm like, yeah, he was, he was the angry emo, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, in in this in the series that I love, but yeah, it doesn't define him. Oh. Kind of like mm. I, to get back to the movie, kind of like Val Kilmer. I think Val Kilmer's great in this movie, but I don't think he's my, I don't think he's, I don't know if he's anyone's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> 